okay so guys welcome back to this one my name is devjit and welcome back to another benchmark video guys so this is dead island 2 so if you know played or if you know about dead island if you played dead island you know what is this game well it's a zombie game first person shooter role playing act i mean action role playing game so, so you need to kill zombies it's a story game mode you can play with friends also there is also a co-op mode you can play and this game released and published on 2023 april and the playstation for playstation 5 playstation 4 xbox one xbox series x xbox series s and microsoft windows the developer of the game is deep silver damster studios so and this game is about the engine is unreal engine 5 and unreal engine 4 okay the main point let's go to the main point today i'm going to test this game in gtx 1650 with oc version and it's gddr6 and 4 gb card okay this is not the 6 gb and the cpu i'm using is i5 6500 something Hi five six thousand five hundred that is and the RAM I'm using it's uh, sixteen GB RAM DDR4 thirty two thousand megahertz okay now let's go to the uh, settings I'm going to show you the settings let's go before that uh, do something let me disable this okay. now you can see me probably around me here okay let's go let's go to the settings i'm going to show you the settings i'm going to use well first thing i'm going to do the ultra settings then i will not uh, allow the amd fsr right now i will um, allow this later first thing i'm going to do the every ultra to low settings without the fsr then i will try the ultra setting with fsr low settings high settings medium settings there's other settings there i will test everything out okay let's get back to the game so let's see the good those frame times and fps so i'm getting like what 50 fps right here okay, not bad in if you play it's a ultra setting i'm playing in the ultra setting without ever so oh my god okay okay i press h to make kit okay nice i've made kit uh, okay i'm getting like what 40 to 60 fps around over here it's uh 48 50 what what you guys slipped never mind okay you can get like 40 to 50 fps or with lower 50 fps with ultra setting without fso okay let's change the settings to the high settings uh play well i'm testing in my native resolution also though i don't have a capture card so you will get more 5 fps or 4 fps without recording Okay, let's go to the highest settings. Okay, now here the game is changed, guys. Look at the frame time is little bit smooth right now. Now you can get in this room like 53, 59, okay, 60. Okay. This game has a lot more details, you can probably see over here is the still the same no no it's changed you can get like 50 fps right here how about inside 52 53 or over here i think it's 60. the dark places you can get like 60 fps or more with the medium settings with the high settings without fps okay let's go to the settings and let's change it to the medium right now 
median settings okay now it's medium setting oh it's changed look it did a really huge improvement that it's getting smooth frame time also over it's okay really getting so much fps right now and it's lot smoother than before with the medium settings without fsr nice nice how about the low settings you can see my uh, gpu which is right over there is 93 percent taking 95 okay so i am cpu bound not gpu my cpu is totally 92 percent 93 95 right here <clears throat> okay in the lowest settings you get like 59 over here it did it really improved a lot in the outside still like same around 50 or 50s 50s and 60s fps but in inside you can get like more fps nice without fsr with lowest settings you can play at like 50 to 60 fps very good okay now let's go to the low to high with fsr quality okay let's do the here it is not the performance i'm going to do the only quality for this video so you will get an idea how it will perform in the balanced and performance obviously you can get in the performance you get lot of fps better than quality so this is low settings with fsr on quality okay. nice if it's getting 60 fps you can also get like 60 fps or more okay let's change it to display let's change this to the medium The quality is still on, so let's go back and change this setting. FSR quality with medium settings. Okay, 60 FPS in medium settings with FSR quality. In outside, 52 56 FPS. Maybe 40 FPS if you looked in the bushy areas and because it's a vegetation this graphics okay and let's try the high settings in advance okay, you can see the temporal is the most higher right here right here okay high settings with fsr quality let's see. 52 fps 57 60 55 57 how about here 58 okay, nice 43 44 fps in the outside okay let's go back okay in high settings you can play with 47 to 60 fps or more well i i'm 
going to say again I'm recording with the without the any graphics card I mean graphics card I mean capture card so you will get more FPS if you don't record you want to only play this game you can play smoothly I tried this game you can play smoothly with GTA 16 okay, the last settings with FSR quality is only the ultra settings Let's change it to ultra. There is the quality, and I'm turning this off so you will get an idea. If you turn this on, get on, you need to turn this off. Okay, if you want to turn this on, save changes. Okay, is it? actually bad not that bad actually because it's ultra settings but you can see the graphics so good the graphics on this game is so good and this game is actually optimized for low end gpus and mid end gpus okay Over here you can get like 46 to 48 I mean you can play in the medium settings or high settings with FSR If you want to play in medium settings you don't need to turn on the FSR Okay Here is my thoughts if you want to buy GTX 1650 Which is OC version if you want to overclock it you can but I not overclocked it in this video for Dead Island 2 so I want to see the general performance of this car okay here is my thoughts so if you want to play in low to medium settings without the FSR you can play with 60 to 50 to 60 FPS if you have a good CPU then you can find you can play with the medium or high settings with 60 fps and if you don't have a good cpu like mine you can probably still play in the low to medium setting with 60 fps okay there is it the benchmark video of dead island 2 hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you guys did give it a thumbs up subscribe the channel and if you want more of benchmark videos tell me in the comments so i will make in that um, making that game of the page for video okay anyways thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one